come to today's tutorial. So today we're looking at simultaneous equations and uh, under these simultaneous equations we're going to look at equations which involve quadratic equations. Yeah. So after solving a simultaneous equation you just land yourself into a, a quadratic equation. So those are the kinds of uh, equations that we're going to do today. So let us see how we can solve this one. Yeah. So we have x y is equal to 4 and x plus y is equal to 20 so one one of the most important thing here that you're supposed to do you have to make um, the linear equation one of the uh, one of the variables in the linear equation um, you make it as a substitute value meaning you are going to make one as a subject of the formula so we'll get um, so we're going to get x plus x plus y is equal to 20 and then from this we make one the subject so i'm going to make x the subject of the formula so this will be 20 minus y when you take y to the other side of the equal sign so we have x is equal to 20 minus y and then from there we get the first equation this one equation one uh, so this is equation two so equation one we replace y this x we're going to put 20 minus y so we are going to have uh, well, there's x, so the equation is x, y is equal to 4. So, what well, is x, we put 20 minus y. So, we say 20 minus y, we put it there. And then we write this y outside there is equal to 4. So, we can multiply through. So, y times 20 there, we get 20y. And then, minus y times y. That will give us y squared. This will be equal to 4. So we can uh, take everything to, the, to one side of the equal sign so that we can solve the quadratic equation. So when you take this negative y to the other side of the equal sign, we are going to have um, positive y squared. And then when you take 20y to the other side of the equal sign, you have negative 20y. And then you have positive 4 there. So this is equal to 0. So from there, we can now solve the quadratic equation. So this quadratic equation, we find the factors. So we find two numbers that when we add them, they'll give us 20. Oh, sorry, they'll give us negative 20. And then when, sub, when we multiply them, we'll get a positive 4. So in short, the product is equal to uh, 4, positive 4, which is found by multiplying the coefficient of y squared and the constant 4. So 1 times 4, we'll get 4 as our product. And then the sum is simply just negative 20. So this is uh, this is uh, exactly what you need to find. And then after finding this, we can now find the factors, meaning the numbers that when we add them, they'll give us uh, negative 20. When we multiply them, we'll get 4. Do we have such numbers? So if you don't have such numbers or if you don't want to spend a lot of time in looking for that number, you simply go straight by using the quadratic formula, which is just uh, y is equal to negative uh, b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and then everything divided by 2a. So from this equation, our a is simply the coefficient of y. Uh, so the general format of a quadratic equation is simply a x squared plus uh, b x plus c. So this can either be plus or minus. Even this one can also be plus or minus. So our a is simply the coefficient of y squared. Then our b is simply the coefficient of x. So our b is negative 20. So we have this negative outside there. We put negative 20 there. Then we say plus or minus the square root of uh, negative 20, then squared minus 4, and then our a is 1, the coefficient of y squared is 1, and then our c is simply just uh, 4, positive 4. So our c is simply just uh, positive 4, so we put positive 4 there. So according to this equation, okay, then everything divided by 2 and then our a is 1 so we're going to have y is equal to um, negative times negative 20 we get uh, a positive 20 then we say plus or minus the square root of 
uh, 400 minus 4, negative 4 times 4, that will give us, yeah, so negative 4 times 4, that will give us 16. Yeah, so we have 16, and then we divide everything over, divide everything by 2a. So our a is 1. So the value of y becomes 20 plus or minus uh, the square root of 400 minus 16. So 400 minus 16 will just give us 384. So 384. Then everything divided by uh, 2. So 2 times 1 will just give you 2. So from there we can simply now just uh, say um, y is equal to uh, so we have the square root of uh, 384 so if you've been um, if, if you are allowed to use a calculator the square root of uh, 384 is simply just so we say 20 plus or minus this is this is just be 19 point 19 point 6 correct to one decimal place 19 point 6 over 2 so the first value of y that we're going to have is 20 uh, plus uh, plus 19.6 over 2. And then the second value of y that we're going to have is simply just uh, 20 minus 19.6, everything divided by 2. So when we find 20 plus 19.6, and then divide, di divided by 2, the answer that you are going to have simply just um, 19. So the first value of y will simply just be 19.8. Uh, then the other value of y will simply just be 20 minus 19.6. Then you divide that by 2, which is just 0 0.2. 0 0.2 these are the two values of y that we have so after finding the two values of y we can now uh, get back to the substitute value which is just here so the substitute value is simply just uh, x uh, x uh, is equal to 20 minus y so we are going to replace where there is y with those two values of y that we have found so let's go and replace so the substitute value is simply just uh, x is equal to 20 minus y. So we replace, to find the first value of x, we replace the first value of y, uh, where there is y there. So it's a 20 minus 19.8. So the first value of x is simply just um, 0 0.2. And then to find the other value of x, we say, when x is equal, when y is equal to 0 0.2, x is going to be equal to 20 minus 0 0.2. Then the other value of y become, I mean, the the other value of x becomes 19.8. Uh, so these are the two values of x and y that you have. You conclude now by saying, therefore, when when x is equal to 0 0.2 y is equal to 19.8 and when when x is equal to 19.8 y is equal to 0 0.2 so these are the solutions that you needed thank you very much for watching today's tutorial so make sure that you subscribe on the channel you click on the button down there which says subscribe so that you don't miss out the videos that i'll be posting my name is Hampton. Shalom, shalom.